Hey there, Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your bonus reading for April 2024. Before I begin, I just want to tell you guys that um, I am doing some healing. I have something going on outside. I'm doing some healing here on you guys. So, um, you know, every time I do the readings, I send healing energy to the readings. Um, so the whole time you're watching the reading, you are getting a healing. But what I decided to do now was to do... Um, the healing to the individual parts of the body that are associated with your sign so for aries it's the upper the upper part so that is considered the head the face from the nose up so i want to introduce you to someone here say hello to my little teddy bear this is what i use to do the healing so um i put my hands on this for distance healing because I do healing uh, with someone in person, you know, I, I put my hands on them, but when I can't do that, I don't have a body here, I use my bear. So yeah, so this is how I send the healing. So like, I just did this to you guys, and I sent the healing since it is the upper part, you know, from the nose up. So that's how I do it. So yeah, so you have just got a, a healing from your, for your part of the body associated with your sign. Okay, now... I had so many uh, people that liked this spread, the house spread. So I'm going to do it monthly, but I decided for this holiday weekend, I'm going to do it also. Um, so um, I'm going to apologize up front for noise you might hear. There's someone working outside, and I can't wait it in between them working because I'll never get this done, and I have to do some um, holiday preparation for food and stuff. So um, I can't. I don't have the option to do that. So I... I apologize for any noise that might come up okay guys let's see what's going on with you guys what's we're looking at the front door what's about to enter your life trust oh look at this like free flowing here trust um this actually is hmm this which one is this what number is this okay so trust This is actually the page of cups, believe it or not, because this is blue, that's water. Page of cups. So there might be an offer coming in towards you. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be any energy, any any um, sign. Let me get a charm on this. And we have here a spider web. Okay, this person might be very creative with their offer. Um, there also might be apology. So yeah, so this is creativity here with this, the spider. So also with the web too. Um, sometimes I, I know it's, I get like there here someone is um, very being very intricate here because spider webs are just amazing. And um, but they're also like we setting something up for someone to come towards them. So I don't know if this is you or a person, but that could be and maybe maybe not. Um, that's the energy I'm feeling though. Let's see. But there's trust. Trust that something's coming in here. Okay. If you've been waiting on someone to come towards you, they're coming. They just might have been trying to figure things out or something. We have here. Oh, the page of coins too. Wow. Towards Virgo Capricorn. You might have a couple offers coming towards you. Coming towards your front door here. Or coming into your life. Let's put it that way. Because it might be an email or a phone call to them. Not everybody comes to the front door. We have, this is, um, this page of... A coins is offering you stability long term. This could be a job. This could be love. Let's see what else we get. Wow. You're starting off good here. So, so far we have the sign Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. And we have here the Three of Swords. Ooh. You know what? <laughs> what is going on here? Here we have two different people could be coming towards you. There might be a third party situation. But look, especially look at this card, this particular card. You have this husband and wife, it looks like, or a couple. And then you have the woman passing a note to the guy in back. Hmm. Kind of kind of suspicious, don't you think? But they're also, well, I'm going to leave it like that. It could be something else. It could, like the Three of Swords uses some kind of pain or heartache. Someone could have caused you some kind of pain or heartache and they're coming back asking and trying to apologize. And that, this could be for anything. Does that necessarily have to be love? It could be anything. Let's get the words on this, though. 
Let's do the Page of Cups. Finances. Insult. Keeps the money. Ooh, so there's some kind of money deal that didn't go too well here. So someone might have been insulted by something. I'm going to get two clarifiers, see if it makes sense. It might, it might not. Let's see. For the first one, for the finances, let's see what we get. We have bonus. So someone might be given some bonus money. Is that what's happening? Maybe this is a work situation and someone's getting a bonus. But they might be insulted. <laughs> okay, keep some money. Either someone's telling you to keep the money or you're telling someone else to keep your that money. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, look here. A pile of money. Okay. So it might make sense. So you might not. Now let's do the page of coins. What's going on with the page of coins? Let's see. We have here expect. Is it options regret oh so maybe this person is coming in this page of coins is coming in with some kind of offer here and maybe you can expect them to have options because they have a lot of regret so is it you might be saying to them is it or maybe they're saying to you is it possible or you're saying like is it what do you want here <laughs> so what is, you know what does this mean um i always feel confused about this energy here so this person might be having uh, different things that they could offer you. I almost feel like that's it. They're lining things up. So if you say no to one, they'll give you another option. Because they regret something didn't work out. Okay, let's go over to the kitchen. See what's cooking in your kitchen. We have playfulness. Now this is... This is the page of wands. What is it with the pages with you? Got all these younger energy, immature energy. Or you could be dealing with a lot of younger people, children. There's, But there's an offer coming in. Something that you're cooking up. Is there something kind of, some kind of passionate offer maybe? But it's playfulness. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have, oh, what is this? We have the vampire teeth. So... There could be someone, this might be a, um, an energy vampire. Or someone's taking a bite out of something. Of course, it is in the kitchen, so if you have the teeth, that makes sense, I guess. Unless they're in the bedroom. <laughs> Let's see about this playfulness. Okay. We have here Queen of Cups. Ooh. Okay, seems like you're. there's a lot of social activity for you queen of cups could be your energy or it could be someone else this is a mother figure um someone very um caring loving nurturing intuitive let's get a charm on this one scorpio cancer pisces could be any sign and we oh we have the dog with a bone someone's not giving up on something okay let me get a clarifier on this Ten of Wands, an end to burdens here. So it looks like something's working out somehow here. Okay, I'm going to get the words on the page of wands. If I could fit them all here. Let's see. Likely, I'm going to start here. Likely talk meeting with the ex. Okay, so this page of wands could be an ex trying to talk to you, wanting a meeting. They're likely there will be a meeting to talk. Okay, now let's see about the Queen of Cups, which I'm calling it your energy, but let's, it might be, it might not. Let's see. We have a tower. Surprise. Denying memories. Blank. Ooh. So, maybe you're feeling like you don't want to be bothered with this person, or there's something here about a surprise. So, the tower is Aries, Scorpio energy, this is something unexpected, some kind of surprise. Someone might be denying their memories, maybe. Maybe it's you saying you're, you're upset with this person, and you're saying, that's it. And you say, my memories are blank. I don't have anything. Now, with the blank one here, this could be someone wanting to start fresh, a clean slate, you know, just start over. But I don't know with this situation. I feel like maybe you're pretty annoyed with someone saying, that's it, I don't want this, but... Looks like you still might have a meeting. I don't know. It feels like that's taking place. Okay, so let's go over to... I mean, of course, you don't want it. It's, you know, you don't have to have it. So, let's see. Let's go over to the living room and see what you are currently living with. 
maturity. Okay, the maturity is, this is the um, Ace of Pentacles. So there's a golden opportunity some, at your house or in your, what you're living with or something you're dealing with right now. Um, there's an offer coming in. And we have here, and it's the Page of Cups. What the heck with these pages? <laughs> okay, so here we have an offer. This could be an offer of love. This could be an apology. Um, well, maybe it's a maturity. Maybe someone is maturing here. But if they're coming in with a um, substantial offer with the Page of Pentacles. So let's see here. I'll get a charm on this. And we have here. This is a leaf. So I think someone's saying they turned over a new leaf. Let's get another clarifier. Whoops. That one flipped. So let's see what it is. Oh, we have the Nine of Swords. Someone's stressing out over this. They're worried about this. They're stressing out. Anxiety. Um, not sleeping at night. So it feels like someone wants to... It could be someone that's actually in your household with the living room. But it's just something that's currently happening. If it's not, it's about to. It's real close. Okay, let me get the words on the page of cups on this one. So we have confess, finish. Ooh, look at this. Tower, tower. Ooh, someone's going to surprise you. Wow. So someone might be telling you they're confessing they finish with something. They're no longer doing something. And it's going to be a major shock or surprise here. Aries Scorpio. You're getting a lot of surprises or you're surprising someone. However, this might relate to you. Okay, so now let's go over to the office. This will be your work, your career. So what, what are you working on? Let's see. A celebration. Okay, this is Three of Cups. This might be a meeting, this might be networking, but there might be something that you're celebrating to do with your work, your career. A new job, a new business, or something, a promotion. We have here the Three of Swords. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. This, you might be celebrating after going through a bad time, a rough time here. And then we have here the King of Swords. It has something to do with the King of Swords. Or this could be you speaking your truth. Okay. I Yeah, so I got celebration. For, I think that's it. You're celebrating after. Maybe it's a long time coming or something you had to work on, work out. And now it's coming in. It has, could have something to do with King of Swords. The King of Swords could actually be um, someone like a, a judge or a lawyer. So you might have won something to do with your work or something. Let me get a charm on this King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have here, oh, we have the tree. So this could be something that is um, stable, reliable. It also could be something that is working out from a past life, too. Okay, um, let me get the words on this King of Swords. We have here player love future okay i wasn't gonna go there but now since we have the three of swords with the three of cups could have been a third party um situation with maybe a of air aquarius libra gemini it doesn't have to be them but there might be love in the future and this might be someone at your work since it's coming in the office and home so take it how it might resonate with you but maybe it's something that was not right but now you know if you look at this three of swords is very wait no that's not the three of swords the other three of swords sorry i talk, think it was the wrong one this well this is someone worried worried about something here this is someone different this is someone like it's really sad about something here down on yeah so it looks a little different okay well, take it how it might resonate with you guys. If it resonates, it might not be yours. So don't take it if it doesn't belong to you. Let's see here. Let's see what's happening in your bedroom. What is happening there? Your romantic life. We have here patience. 
Okay, so this is the Seven of Pentacles. You might be working on something, planning something about a romance or something like that. Um, this could also be a pregnancy. I mean, this person is looks pretty pregnant there. And also, you got the nine moon cycles, but we're on the seventh, so it might mean something too. Patience. Okay, and then we have the high priestess. Ooh, there might be secrets here. There might be a secret pregnancy too. Um, also, this could be um, Virgo Cancer energy. This could be your intuition. Something about you know something about something as far as your romantic life. You're aware of something or you're tapping into it. Let's see here. We have here the chariot. Something's going to happen very quickly here. Cancer energy. So expect something to come out or something. Well, or there's some kind of secret here. There's some kind of mystery. Be impatient. I mean, that's weird because you got patience and then you got the chariot. The chariot's fast. Patience is, is slow. You're waiting on something. But it might be that you know you have to be patient in order for something to move. So you might be just tapping into your intuition. Okay. So now let's go to the spare bedroom and see the other things to address. Let's see. We have the conscious here. Okay. So this is this is ace of swords. This is speaking someone's truth or cutting out something that being conscious of something that's going on. Maybe saying, okay, um, I want the truth here. Someone might have been holding something back. Let's see. And we have the Seven of Coins. Okay, so the Seven of Coins is reassessing, reevaluating. This also be harvesting something, harvest time here. And, you know, of course, the Ace is always opportunity. So there are opportunities for truth. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So, um, something to do with of um more design or it could be just someone that is a mother figure someone might be wanting the truth and be be um reassessing something and asking someone about something so you could be dealing with a mother or it could be someone very intuitive too let's get a charm on that okay we have the parrot the parrot is like so repeating something someone talking it also could be spirit communication let me get something on this queen cup we have here married contact apart single oh so someone might be returning after they were married and now they're coming back I mean you guys could have been married together but it also could be that they're married to someone else and now they're contacting you because they're they're no longer with that person they're apart from them and they're single so you could rearrange those words to make sense to your circumstances. Okay, so now let's go into the attic. And um, we'll see what's hidden in the attic. Suppression. Now this will be a ten of wands. Uh, someone's holding back. There's a lot uh, that someone has to deal with. But this is also the end to the burden. So let's see what we get on that. And we have the Four of Swords. This is a healing taking place. Someone could be going on vacation or um, holiday or something too. But after a long time of a lot of burdens or something that is lifting up now. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Needing to make a decision though. Two of Pentacles is like options, choices, um, balancing things out, multitasking. But it feels like something. someone's healing from something here. Now let's see about... The potential outcome for you guys. We have flowering. Now flowering is. This is the queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be the, a time of abundance coming in. Or someone's focusing on their money. And doing quite well. Or you could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. We have there's some kind of change here. We have the butterfly. Some kind of shift. Some kind of change. Let's see what else we have. Oh, let's, this, let's see what we don't see coming. Um, we have aloneness. So this is the hermit energy. So you might be dealing with a Virgo or someone is taking some time out, being alone. Or this is what it might be. This is what you don't see coming. So this might be you. It might be someone else. Okay, let's see. We have here the five of coins. Some might be feeling like you might be leaving them out in the cold here with the five of coins. 
I feel like you are prospering here. So maybe you might, someone might feel like, well, once you take off on, or things look better for you, you might be leaving them out in the cold. We have here the four of coins. Someone does not want to let you go. This is someone maybe going deep thoughts about you. The hermit energy and then the four of coins. Let's see what else we have. And we have the tower. There's going to be some kind of sudden surprise change. I think you got a lot of <laughs> changes, a lot of surprises, Aries. So, okay, so Aries and Scorpio energy is a tower. So something is, you might end up really doing well. And maybe you are going to say, you know what? Um, you're not pulling your weight. You're leaving someone in the dark. You know, it's like, this is, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be um, carrying you is almost what I feel. Okay, let's see what's the bottom of this deck. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, so it seems like someone here is doing a lot of thinking about you. <clears throat> this is my voice here. And uh, they don't want to let you go. And this is, could be someone from the past. Six of Cups. Memories from the past here. Okay. So now I need to... Oh, I didn't put a charm on this one. I couldn't get a charm. Or did I? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, money. Pleasure. Money. Wow. Okay, it looks like you're you're coming into money. That's what it feels like. So it feels like it's going to bring you a lot of pleasure. So you might have enough money to use it for a pleasure, not just for bills. Let's see. We have here. This here, look, a fistful of money. It's like, oh, so look, I got the money. <laughs> and this one is hidden secret money. You might be finding some money. Maybe some money you didn't know you had or somehow the money's coming out here. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Again, with this hermit, this could be someone going deep within. This is something you don't see coming. This could be you. You might be going back, reflecting, or need some time alone. Um, sometimes this is like, you know, looking into the dark night of the soul here. But someone's holding on or holding them back here. And then, of course, Six of Cups. Some memories from the past. This could be a person, a situation. Something could be returning here. Okay, so now let's see what signs we could be dealing with. Now, this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Let's see what we have. Let me put my space on the table here. I can go right over here, I guess. So we have Capricorn. Leo. Aries. Oops, this one flips, so I'll take it. Another Aries. Oh, look, he came out here twice. Okay, what else did we have? Taurus. And the bottom deck, we have Pisces. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Aries, Taurus, and Pisces. Sorry about the noise, but I'm almost finished with your reading, so it's not going to be too much longer. All right, guys, so... This could place me your chart, place me other people's chart, past, present, future, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Aries, Taurus, and Pisces. Okay. Now, if this does not resonate with you and you just watch your sun, then watch your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.